In simple activities that you want to work with a child, you often notice that when you ask the child to put the rings, he either does not put them at all and plays with those or hits the table. It may happen that he puts one, puts the other and does not continue to finish the activity. You give him a puzzle and he either throws the pieces on the floor or collects them all but doesn't put them. You give him the cubes to place but what happens is either the child hits the cube on the table or hits the cubes with each other or only places one cube and does not finish the task. What I am explaining to you is called the first experience. There are children with autism who start the activity but do not finish it, as there are also those who do not start the activity. What you have to do with the child is to encourage and teach the child that in the first experience he should either start doing the activity in case he does not do it or take it to the end if he has already started the activity. So, you have to teach the child the first experience.